Good Friday morning, everybody. Ginger here in my basement still, but really looking forward to this because we get to speak with Sia. Um, if you're watching on the East Coast, you're hearing her now. I can hear her in my IFB right here. Sia is performing on the show this morning and we just had a live chat with her. If you are waking up in the Central Time Zone or on the West Coast, you'll be seeing her coming up. But here, you're gonna get a little preview because we're gonna have a chance to talk to her. So, nine time Grammy nominated, now directing uh, her first film. It is called Music and it is going to be out um, eventually here. And we're gonna talk to her about a couple of things going on. See ya. It's always a little bit of a dance to get in, but looking forward to this on a Friday morning. Um, and, and really talking about some important things too. Good morning. Hi, sweetie. Good morning to you. How are you? I was nervous and now I feel a little bit less nervous, although there's probably more people watching now than there were before. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> That's um, the thing. We get, we, we, both the songs together and now Bird Set Free is what's airing, but people will see both of those on GMA this morning. I assume that's not what you were nervous about. Not at all. <laughs> 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 yeah, and I think I th I thought it was it was brilliant. You know, this is such a it's such a big question for a lot of people is what is the right move right now what, and what, how to act. What, how to what act. is act what is actionable and what actually might work. To, yeah. you know, for justice. And that's so. the thing is is uh, I always think at the end of everything I do, I always like to have the call to action because a lot of times um, that information isn't clear for people. So I say we do it again here. Let's let's do it and get the important okay, information God bless out. You. Yeah, okay, why not? So I've got it right here. If you care about Brianna Taylor or Elijah McClain, then you can email for Brianna Taylor. You can email the Attorney General Daniel J Cameron at attorney dot general at ag dot ky dot gov. That's a totally action actionable plan. Right. Um, and you can demand justice for Breonna Taylor. Mm -hmm. Elijah McClain um, is a, a more recent story, but it happened a long time ago, but it's, it was the most sad and most horrific, uh, mm -hmm. you know, it's devastating to yeah, watch. I think it was last August. It was almost a year ago now. It was, um, but it's extremely devastating to watch and just see how underfunded the police department mm. are for their mental um, health units or, yeah. you know, even just, you know, I mean, San Antonio are, to me, the leading force in police, in police like, um, because they have this mental mental health unit, which mm -hmm. is all plainclothes police, policemen and, and um non-aggression no force no nothing okay. just understanding and most people are in an emotional disturbance or mm -hmm. just doing their thing so right. it's right. like a, yeah and how anyway, much we've all and how much we've all learned and i think that that's the thing is this is a it is such a, a a beautiful moment in a way because we are all learning and we're all paying close attention and we're all starting to say what can i do can i actually do something that could help someone else's life going forward so oh yes and uh, I, I didn't get to finish the elijah oh, yes. mclean Sorry. email that's yes. fine is governor polis uh, you'd email governor polis p-o-l-i-s at state.co.us yeah and, and i um, know that and you said you were nervous and I, I think that's the thing is we all feel this kind of what's next where do we go but at the same time we know that it is important to still make art and you are so you know, it just feels secondary to what's happening right now. I know that right. entertainment is important and so that, important. you know, you can make entertainment that is both political and or just entertaining yeah. and that people during difficult times need entertainment as well as mm -hmm. education and, you know, to stick, get their head out of the sand. But, um, yeah, I mean, sometimes it's so much you've got to have a light moment and I understand the value of that. But I was just, it felt secondary. Yeah. Do you think, what's do you, think right on a, you know, when you think about what's been happening um, and as an artist, mm -hmm. how much this will influence art going forward? I mean, I can only assume that we'll be borrowing from black culture for the rest of our existence, mm -hmm. um, which is uh, certainly I listened to only black music growing up. So mm -hmm. I owe everything I have to that culture and I, I remember seeing a sign that said love your black people like you love the black culture mm -hmm. and um and that really hit home to me mm. and that's and that's the thing is i you know going past just music you've now are are delving into directing oh yeah and i'm a director now Boop. 
<laughs> the, it doesn't always sound good to say. Um, the movie is music as the name of it, and um, yeah. really a, a great cast and bringing back Maddie Ziegler, yeah, which is course. exciting. She's doing so amazing. She's, I mean, she's spectacular in the movie. Yeah, it's, it's shocking. And most people, I guess, I should warn people because, like the. Uh, interviewer for Rolling Stone, he thought it was going to be much uh, like a, more like a comedy, mm -hmm. but it, it's a it's like a it's a dramatic musical. Okay. So, it's, so I want to warn the people that it's still PG thirteen, I think, but it's <laughs> it's like it deals with you know a lot of feelings. And I think what's what I when I was reading um, that you it's based on a short story that you wrote with your friend Dallas. Um, well, I wrote the story by myself like okay. fifteen years ago, and then I asked Dallas to help me write the screenplay. The screenplay, so eight years got it. Ago, and we got it going. And that's and, what I think is interesting, and I liked hearing was you wrote this thing in two thousand seven. Then right, that was and yeah. and but I like how it took a long time. You know, oh we, yeah, and we shot it like four me. years ago. Yeah, I started four years ago, and it took me three years to edit it. It was the most difficult thing. It was a difficult task. It's the mm -hmm. hardest thing I've ever done. It's way, way harder for me than being a singer or a songwriter. It's the hardest thing I've ever done. I'm definitely need. I took three years off afterwards. I've stayed in bed. I'm still there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm barely have pants on. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, but I won't do the old joke. Um, <laughs> But if something, I mean, that's the thing is, is something challenges you that much. Uh, I, I think that from the outside, someone who I, I'm also have become an author in the last couple of years, which was not because I'm a scientist by education. Oh, congratulations. Um, thank you. But when you start to expand yourself and go beyond the role or the, you know, the thing that the label that you have lived or put on yourself yeah. or other people have put, it's. I want you to it's, tell people, keep going, I guess. Yeah, keep saying. going. Well, I mean, I, it took me so long to even get the guts to do it, even though mm -hmm. I'd written it and I had, you know, fantasized about it for so long because I was frightened that people would call it a vanity project or I wasn't actually very good or that I, mm -hmm. I was in a delusion that I would be good at it. And, um, and then I started directing with my friend Daniel Askill. We did Chandelier and Big mm -hmm. Girls Cry and all of the, all of my recent videos. Yeah. And people were like, yeah, pretty good director. And hey. so it gave me some confidence. But really, it was my best friend, Dallas, who I co-wrote it with, who really, he was the one who said, you can do this. Mm -hmm. You can do this. You can do this just, in your sleep. Lesson. That's the lesson, I think, because I'm sure with music, of course, you had all of those feelings. But I'm assuming that it came a little more... Uh, inherent it was a yeah, little bit music then in meaning actual music with melodies and top lines and not the name yeah, of my movie yes yeah, <laughs> correct correct actual way to confuse people i really i <laughs> think you I knew it would happen but, <laughs> but, <laughs> but that's that's what i, I just thinking. thought why is there no movies called music movies called music and um i'm and i loathe musicals so this is like not your usual musical okay I didn't know you loathe them. Oh my goodness. I think yeah. see, I loathe Super some loathe. of them. Yeah, some of them. <laughs> um, I, I want to also just make sure we talk about the two songs because they're going to hear them. Oh, and cool. I think that um, I, I, I was listening before we did this to Bird Set F F Free and, and just the beginning, I mean, the beginning of many of your songs is where I kind of key in. Is the beginning kind of like the title to you at all if you were writing a book? Is it the... Yeah, I, you, I feel like you have to open strong. Yeah. I mean, is that how much thought goes into that part, I guess, is my... Well, I mean, <laughs> you're going to like, it doesn't take me very long to write a song. And I don't oh. like that. I, it makes me, I've been told that it seems, I seem flippant when I talk about how <laughs> short an amount of time it takes me to write a song. And so, and that it's not very endearing. <laughs> But I like knowing that. So, I find I mean, it fascinating. The truth is, okay, most songs take me about 20 minutes to write. Wow. Um, yeah. And then maybe an hour to record. Um, I generally will focus on, yes, the first line, and then I'll focus on the post-chorus and the chorus. Mm -hmm. okay. And those are the most important things for, I guess, this feels gross, indoctrination, mm -hmm. um, which is what pop music really mm -hmm. is and so if I'm going to indoctrinate like a generation of people um at least I'm just trying to send a positive message so yeah. um because really that's what media is isn't it it's propaganda and indoctrination so right. um or entertainment so um so yeah yeah I, 20 minutes great 
that'll that'll inspire no I'm kidding. my brother <laughs> my brother's in music so i always i always like to know i think it's fascinating Basically, since i put my pants on i could have written a song <laughs> so now what now pants? what just care yeah. just kidding <laughs> if you're just your pants that's your goal what next pants? you don't have a goal past that um if your fans and i know a lot i see a lot of your comments a lot of your fans are watching uh, do you have a message for them? Because I know it must be very difficult to not be, you know, out there. Oh, I love them. Just I love them. Keep going. Just, yeah. you know, is the only way out is through. That's a very good message. Sia, we really appreciate your time this morning. Thank you for being with us. Thank you. I Make really sure y'all, thank you for letting me. West Coast, you can watch Sia right now. She's on the program. Thank you, sweetie. All right. Thanks. Have a great day. Au revoir. <laughs>